Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you have not seen my face before, my name is Karen Anthony Janice. I am a licensed practical nurse and I created this YouTube channel to document my journey through nursing school and life. So if you're interested in nursing, but today in lifestyle content, please hit the red subscribe button so you'll be notified every time I upload another video. And let's hop right into this one. All I have is a story and a dream. Here I am, and that's all I can be. So, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be showing you guys what is in this bag right here. This bad boy is my nursing bag. Um, and first of all it is the Ronier's trademark book bag in pink i got it from amazon and i'll leave a link in the description box below let me just let me put it on so i can check y'all where on my back it's pretty thick to be honest um but yeah let's hop right into it and if you can hear noise my freaking neighbors at like they freaking elephant anyways let's hop right into the bag so i'm gonna open this part up first and in this part um i just have a sanitizer and two pencil pens and a pen i never used the pencil pen. i gotta sneeze mm. I didn't want to come out. I never use the pills pens, but I usually keep a pen in my like cargo pocket, and I keep this in my cargo pocket as well. Inside, I have two cup thingies on the side. One side I leave empty for a water bottle. The other side, I just have some eyeglass cleaning wipes, a extra ponytail holder if I need it, and then. I don't know why I got this because I can't use it with the mask. I ain't gonna be able to use it except this one. I got some lip balm and I got lip gloss and NYX butter gloss. So I just keep these inside. This backpack has a charging port so um, I can charge my phone if I needed to. And if I was gonna charge my phone, I'll just plug it up and stuff it in there. This bag is actually like a flip bag. And then it has two compartments, the main big compartment and then the smaller compartment. So we're going to open this one first. And let's see. In this compartment, I have this notepad or memo pad that I got from Walmart. And it's one of the ones that flips up. So... I just have this to this is what I use to like take my notes um I would show y'all but I think I have names on here yeah I got names on here so I can't show y'all how I take my notes but maybe I'll show y'all one day when I do a um come to work with me like video the next thing I have is a pack of masks and I got these I just randomly picked these up um at Burlington I was there trying to get something i think i was like baby shopping for a baby shower and these was like as you were going to the cash register store so i just got these um i usually use the homemade ones that my mom got me but i leave these in my bag just in case i forget it i always have some this was a 10 pack for seven dollars so i got masks the next thing i have a pack of salon paws i haven't had to use these but when i was in clinical my back would start hurting um, and I will wear these. I also use these when my period is on. I'll put one on my stomach. So I just got these just in case I need it, mostly for my back and my stomach for period pains. And it's just a pain reliever patch. It has menthol. Yeah, I just put one right here on my back and it helps with the pain. The next thing I have is a 2019 Lip & Cut um pocket drug guide and i've spoken about this in my clinical essentials video but 
um i i had this in my bag just in case i needed to look up something and there's one on the nursing cart so i don't really use mine i still leave it in here though because the resonance make sure you know what you give me your resonance even though you like book and you like popping it popping the pills out or whatever you may forget and they when you go take them they may ask they'll be like what is this what is this for so make sure you know before you go in the room what it is for i also have these two small ones um small memo pads i used to use this um i most i still use this this one is a little bigger than this one so when i run out of pages i'm i'm gonna use this one but i use this and i use it when i'm doing my med passes i leave it in my cargo pocket so that um if somebody runs out of a med or i can't find a med on the cart i'll just use this to leave a note so when i finish my med pass i can follow call the pharmacy about that specific medication more pens I got another pen in here, um, a badge reel. So my job, we don't have like, you know in hospitals, they have like the badge reel and they have like the picture. My job don't do that. We just have like a name badge, like a magnetic name badge. So I honestly don't need this. Let me put it in here actually, do it with that. I don't need that, so I just put it up. I got another pen. I keep pens everywhere, another pen. So that is the small section. Let me put this back in here. I also keep my wallet in here, but I'm gonna go to the store so I take it out. But let's get into the main section. And I'm gonna just pull stuff out. So the first thing I'm gonna pull out is my jacket. Um, I didn't have this jacket for so long that I need to throw it away, but it's just a basic Adidas jacket. I don't know where I got it from. Um, but I use this, I keep it in my bag. If I don't wear it, it'll be in my bag. If I do wear it, I'll wash it when I come home. So then I have one, two, three different bags slash containers that I'll talk about in a second. So let me finish pulling out everything else. It's just my benefits folder. It just tells us about all the benefits we have and stuff. Um, so... I don't know why they're still in here. I got my benefits. I picked it out. I can throw it away honestly because I got a talk. This folder is, um, we got this doing orientation. And this just has different stuff about the company. Honestly, I don't need this in my bag either. So I'm probably going to do away with it. It's my planner. So this does not stay in this bag. It stays in um, whatever bag I'm using like. If I'm going to school, this is an all-in-one planner. Like, I use it for everything. So, like, if I'm at, if I'm going to work that day, I have it in my work bag. If I'm going to school, I have it in my school bag. I feel like I've talked about this in another video. I, I'm pretty sure I talked about it in my classroom essentials for nursing school um, video. So, if you haven't checked that one out, I'll leave it in the cards. But, yeah. Which one we want to open first? Can y'all hear that? Let's start with this. This is my stethoscope case. I got it from Amazon. I don't remember how much it was, but I'll leave it linked down below. And then here, I have, ooh, it's falling out. I have alcohol swabs. I'll show y'all in a second. Alright, so I have my stethoscope on this side and this stethoscope is a litman lightweight stethoscope um i think it's like 56 dollars when i got it and then on this side it's like a little pocket so i just have some alcohol swabs i also have a pen light um and i got this, this pen light came from my skills kit in school my steel work so got that more pens and i just put the pens that i had just laying around back in here and then i also have some bad niche scissors that came with my skills kit as well and that's all that i have in here with me at the moment because she loves me so much and whenever that comes in hopefully it'll fit in this side with the stethoscope and i'll put it in here if not i have to find some else i'll probably put it in this bag which is um i put this on the cart when i'm doing my med pass so they is 
so rude. In here, you can open it two ways. Um, I got this on Amazon as well, by the way. Um, you can open it at the top like this, or you can open it in the front and have it open like this. So, in here, I just have some more pins. I have some sticky notes. Sticky notes. I have another hand sanitizer, which is out. So I'm so glad my job gave me the other one, but I got this from Dollar Tree. Some hand lotion, which is almost out too. I need to get some more. Um, but I got this from a hotel that um, I stayed at during my vacation. Some earphones. Um, I'm contemplating getting AirPods. So when I'm doing my med pass, um, I'm going to have like one in my ear instead of having a hold. Yeah. Um, more lip balm, which I don't really like this that much. I got it from Dollar Tree and I'm not even going to pick it up because I'm throwing it in the trash. Another pencil pen. And I have this battery pack and a cord and if my phone ouch if my phone is dying i'll just plug it up with this or if i'm sitting at the desk i will plug it up um at my feet so i pretty much use this as a pencil pencil nice. bag i have is this one and this is kind of like a personal hygiene bag i got this one from amazon as well um it just opens like this and then this i have some Listerine that I got from Walmart. It's like the travel size. I got some Jergens lotion also from Walmart travel size. Some deodorant also from Why do I keep dropping everything? Walmart also travel size. I got this muscle relaxer from Dollar Tree. It barely works, but I use it on my knee. Um if I stand up too long or if I get too cold, if I go out for lunch and it's raining, my knee will start hurting. So, I got to use some of that. Um, once I run out of this, I'm going to buy some Icy Hot. I also like to keep pads in here. I don't have any. And then I also need to get another travel toothbrush. Because I threw the other one away. Um, and then the last thing I have is a Motrin. This is not Motrin. This is my doll. I use this with my cyclist. I'm not to use medicine. But... My cycle be trying to kill me, so that's really, really why I got it. Um, I do, I am headache prone, but I kind of like push through my headache. So, I try, because I try not to use it. Pretty much all I have in my nursing bag. And just for reference, if you are new to this channel, I work in an assisted living facility. So, where I work, the only thing we can do is first aid. We don't really do nothing else. As far as treatments and stuff, most of my residents, we don't have like no G tubes. We don't have um, catheters. We don't have none of that stuff. Like, we literally got meds. That's it. Um, meds and assessments. And then sometimes we get injections. I haven't had one yet or seen one yet, but I believe somebody has to get a monthly injection. And I haven't been there for a month yet. So. I haven't had to do it yet, but yeah, um, that's why I really have too much stuff. I also want to get a, um, um, my own pulse ox machine because I don't know. I just hate using jobs because one day they couldn't find it and they couldn't find it after my shift. And I'm just like, they ain't got nothing to do with me because first of all, I ain't even use it. Pretty much all I have for this video, I honestly don't have much in my nursing bag it's pretty basic oh we also have to wear masks um face shields so they just started implementing that or we just got assigned our face shield two days ago but i leave it in my bag i need to get some like wipes so i can wipe it down the only thing i have the alcohol pads but they like so little it takes forever and you have to use so many of them so i need to get, get some like lysol wipes so i can wipe down my face shield every day and then we also have N95 masks, but we have to leave them at the job. So, like, the mask 
the disposable mask or the regular mask that I have, I wear it in the building. And then I'll put the N95 on once I get to the nurse's station because we got to leave it pretty much it, guys. I know that y'all want me to do a day in the life um, video. And I was, I almost recorded it this, yesterday because I was working the door. But I was like, ooh, it'll be good to like show how the different shifts are like seven to three is low-key way different than three to eleven and eleven and seven is different than three to eleven so like i worked from 7 a.m to 11 p.m yesterday and i was gonna do like a kind of work with me working a double type video but i was too tired because i had worked the day before three to eleven so i like got home at 12 o'clock i ain't get in bed till like 12 45 and then I had to wake up and be to work at 7 again so I was like low key tired let me know what kind of videos you want to see next if I'm squinting it's because I ain't got my glasses on and I can't really see but um I will see you guys in the next video and I will leave everything down below bye guys